Hello, Victoria. Hi. Oh my God, I can't believe you really request me. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. I was just. I'm sorry. I was in the kitchen cooking. Hey, how are you? Fine. Are you? you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. <sighs> okay. You know you were gonna accept it. Yes, of course. Okay, so my question is like a little bit of everything in one. Okay. Okay, so I want to start going out more. I I'm on this journey of trying to stay to myself, get closer with God. And I don't really talk to my friends like that no more. They kind of drift off. We don't really have issues, but we you know we go our separate ways. I, I don't have friends that do what I want to do. I'm a content creator. I do fashion content. I just got a brand. I'm a, um, what is it called? Influencer with Boohoo. I just got that. So okay. I'm just trying to get my life together. Yes, yes. Okay, she's busting busy. Come on, Victoria. Yeah, I'm, so I'm like, I'm like, I look, because I, I be trying to catch you live, and I'm like, dang, I look crazy right now, but. Um, so I want to start going out. I'm nervous about going out. I'm overweight, so I have my lymphedema, and I'm very insecure about that going out. Oh, I love how you have your lifestyle when you go to the gym, you eat healthy, and I know these are the things that I want to do, and I like doing these things. I just never make it a priority in my life. So can we change that, Victoria? Can we make it a priority starting tomorrow? Can we make that simple choice? Yes, yes. Yeah? I want to. Okay. I, my, my brother, he's on. he goes to the gym every morning, and he eats healthy. So next week, we was like, we're going to start our fruit fruit fasting and things like that. So, But I, I do want to start tomorrow, for sure. Tomorrow, instead of thinking fruit fast, before y'all jump into water fast, fruit fast, air fast, Boy, you gotta get into that because the thing with that is it's cool for two to three days and by the third day you in the kitchen in the refrigerator eating a piece of the chicken with the foil you open just taking a little bite and closing it back and saying i only had a bite i don't want y'all to get there because i've been there okay so can we start simple with like let's do salads and protein okay. salads okay. and protein so you can still have you a, a piece of chicken it's not fried it's baked Okay, baked chicken. This is for everyone, not just you, Victoria, because someone else needs to say it is. You can have baked chicken, you can have fish, and then you pair it with a vegetable. It can either be a salad, it can be broccoli, it can be asparagus, whatever you want it to be. But you are not to have any carbs on that place, no rice. And before the car police come out, before the car police come forward, simmer. We know carb ain't nothing wrong with carbs, but we're not doing that right now. So you're going to have a protein with vegetables by the time you come back up here on next wednesday you should be like hey ash i followed the routine all i had was protein and vegetables i went to the gym every morning or every evening for 30 minutes okay can we work on that yes and as far as the the going out part i want you to start buying you a cute outfit let's say get you a cute outfit not saying you don't already you have your boho put one of those outfits on and you decide every other week or every week, you're going to go out once by yourself or on a date or with your friends or whatnot, okay? Once, at least once a week. It could be in the morning, it could be in the afternoon or the evening. Can we do that? Yes. How are you feeling? What's your thoughts? I feel you thinking. Um, no, I was saying because I don't, I don't really go, I don't have friends to go out with. So I, I don't go out by myself, which is a problem i saw one of your lives and you was like you know start going out by yourself and things like that and i was thinking about that i want to start taking myself on dates i was saying that i don't know i'm just so scared with my whole lymphedema and me being like insecure about it i'd be feeling like every time i step in a room everybody looking at it you know but wait no fair enough fair enough so we're going into full so we could wear like maybe pants if you want to feel more comfortable can you do that can you wear like pants you know with a nice blouse start there or dresses that go down to the ankle that are fitted just so so you can feel more confident and just so i'm right lymphedema is almost like um i believe wendy williams had it on her legs it it makes the legs a little bit um a bit more swollen on the ankle area is that correct yeah mine's look different though like hers is like her all her legs was like puffy but mine's is like on one part of my leg um on near my knee part is like it hangs a little bit and it's a little bigger 
Okay. So, okay. I don't, like, this summer I haven't wore biker shorts. I love biker shorts. So, it's like that for me. So, just temporarily, I say wearing pants or longer dresses. Just so you can feel comfortable and you don't feel like you're out and everybody's looking at you. Fair enough? Yeah. And I know it's scary, but I even have an example on my page of me helping a girl get off the couch and get to the bar. I don't know if you saw that video. I, that's the one I saw, yes. She went to the bar and she had got back on the live when she was at the bar. So yeah. this is the thing. Daytime is easier than nighttime. Because nighttime, you know, do, 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 do. Everybody got on dresses and heels. You feel like, damn, I got to meet someone if I'm out right now. Who going to talk to me? Yeah. Daytime is less pressure. It feels more family oriented, friends, you know, light. So I say if you want to start going out by yourself, start going out in the morning or the afternoon or early brunch, or early lunch, or early breakfast. How about that? Before you do nightlife. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'll try that. Because yeah. I was like, the nighttime, I was like, mm, I don't know. But the daytime sound way better than the nighttime, for sure. And but what I want you to stick to, Victoria, before we get to makeup and going out, okay. I want you to make the commitment today that tomorrow you are deciding to get up. You're deciding to go to the gym and you're sticking to the meal plan. That's eating your protein and your vegetables. No bread, no rice. You can still have protein, any protein you want with vegetables. Are we going to commit to that, Miss Victoria? Yes. And I don't want to keep you up here too long. One more thing. This is the last thing. And I know it's the most important thing. I don't like water. I hate drinking water. And I'm trying to get the hang of it. Now, Victoria. I don't. Our body, I, is, <laughs> our body is made up of 70% of agua, water, H2O. Okay? And you sitting here telling me you don't like water? So how you washing down your food? What you drinking? I drink vitamin water and I, I drink like, I don't like sodas. I don't like soap. I don't like sodas. The only thing I I do like is juice, but I don't drink it that much. Like I drink it once in a while when we eat out, but like I drink majority like vitamin water, but I want to learn how to just drink straight water. I just never liked it as a kid, like until now. Well, Victoria, what I need you to do, I don't know if you live with other people, but you are not to bring any juice or soda into the house anymore, only water. If you want to dazzle up the water, Put a cucumber in it. Squeeze the lemon and put strawberries in it like the other girls do. Okay. Yeah. I'm being serious though. I'm no, not, no, it's I'm not a joke. Real. No, no, I'm being for That's real. I will. And what you don't know, and this goes for all the Victorias watching, all the Victorias on this live who don't like drinking water. Water will help you with your weight loss. People sleep on it. Water will help you. If you drink half a gallon of water a day, that is going to help tremendously with you losing weight. That goes for every Victoria on this live. It is transformative. That's why you have to drink it. And you're too young. You're too young to not be drinking water. Unacceptable. No, I'm going I'm to start, so, start tonight. All right, so we starting tonight, not tomorrow. I like to hear that. And what you cooking for dinner? What y'all eating over there? Um, no, I was just making my brothers some food real quick. Victoria. No, I didn't. I, I, no, no, no. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Because I'm not trying to eat past a certain time these days. Because I was okay. trying to start a little fast. Not fasting, but like, like, I don't eat in the morning, like when I first wake up. So I was like, I could start eating at 12 and then like stop eating at 6. Because I don't want to eat Fair when it's dark. Like that. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. Okay. All right, Miss Victoria, I say all of these things out of love, and it's because health is so important. Yeah, I know I get up here and preach about health all day. It's not about being snatched, having a Coca-Cola body, having a six-pack, and having a big booty. and big. It's not about that. I want you to be healthy, and I want you to look at, for everyone on here, I want you to look at, at, at your body as a temple. And it's something that you have to take care of, just like a vehicle. This is the only body we get here in this lifetime right now. So I need you to take care of this vessel so it can carry you through for the rest of your days. 
Yeah, because I don't like the fact that I'm an influencer and I don't feel good on my everyday life. I feel like I'm putting on a facade. You get what I'm saying? So I want to step into that, me being that girl, but being that girl is physically health, you know, all of that. You know, health is wealth. And I, I want to be wealthy, you know? So, you know. Absolutely. Thank you. But you're welcome, Victoria. And again, you don't have to get it all right tomorrow. That's why I said start baby steps. You don't got to be the girl getting up at 5 a.m., shaking a green juice and talking about, hey, guys, going to the gym. You don't have to do that. But I want to I want you to find the way that works for Victoria. Right. So that's why I'm saying baby steps. Just get to the gym. Even if the, that's the morning, the afternoon or night, I just want you to go. All right. Just have vegetables and chicken. Just go for a walk or hike. I want you to start small so you don't feel so overwhelmed by it. Make realistic expectations. That makes sense? Yes. Yes. All righty. Well, thank you for coming out. Look, you got the people are listening. They're like, wow. Okay. <laughs> Victoria's coming up here. Okay. A lot of people yeah. needed to hear this. They're like, you yeah. got this. You got this. You can do this, girl. Look. I see them. Mm -hmm. Oh, All right, so so come back. you're welcome victoria come back next wednesday because then it'll be a week and update us here on tiktok about how that journey went for you okay the last seven days from now until then okay, okay. all right thank you and, and i appreciate victoria coming up and being transparent that takes a lot of courage to come up and share that and i just want you guys to start small you don't got to be a super fit chick a super snatch chick Okay, just start small. You get up, you have your drink of water, you go to the gym for a little bit, okay? You call it a day, you say something nice to yourself, you listen to something nice.